Hey YouTube! Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Mom Likey. I'm your host, Anna Nicole Smith. What? Pie! Tonight, we're gonna make a pie. I'm flying. I don't think I even took any drugs. Let, let's get started, okay? Oh! Okay, oh! What? The ingredients for this are pretty simple. You're going to need to go, and of course I always buy Jewel brand because I'm cheap. Um, I, you're going to need a Jewel or, you know, whatever, Nabisco, just a graham cracker crust, preferably one that comes in its own foil shell because then you don't have to use your own. You can if you want to. You're going to need a tub of Cool Whip or whipped topping, uh, a package of chocolate pudding, um, milk. You're going to need some little, little sprinklies chocolate if you want to that's just for garnish you're gonna need a big bowl and you're gonna need a mixing thing I'm a Bob I don't know once again for anybody out there who has problems following my video directions or doesn't want to write them down it's on the box so all you gotta do is look at the box we're gonna take our milk and we're going to take one and three-fourths cups of milk and pour it into our large mixing bowl then we will add the pudding mix okay I've added the milk and now we're adding our pudding mix very exciting stuff here guys. It's been a lifesaver. To make the pie a little bit thicker you can add a couple of dollops of your, uh, yes I did say dollops, Doll dollops, anyway, of your whipped topping. Um, just to kind of make it a little thicker so there's more consistency to it, um, which I'm going to do that. But remember you need to save most of it because this is going to be the garnish over the top. Um, and I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, so let's open this up and we're going to put just a little bit in there and then we have to mix it for one minute until it's smooth. So. Okay, I didn't say you couldn't eat any of it. Mm. <laughs> so as you can see, I've added my dollops of, of whipped cream, and now we're going to mix. Probably not a good idea that this is going to go everywhere. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off now, but you get the general idea. Okay. When you're done, your pudding should look like this. And as an added note, we're going to move over here to the graham cracker crust. See how it has the plastic shell kind of thing in there? You want to save that because what we're going to do is invert it and you can use it as a lid. Flip it, boy, flip it! So that when you take your pie wherever you're taking it, if you're taking it somewhere, it's automatically covered. You don't have to worry about that. So right now I'm going to take the contents of the pudding. The contents of the pudding? Okay, I'm going to take the pudding and pour its content. Okay, I'm pour... The pudding's going in the shell. That's it. And don't forget to lick the spoon. Mmm, that's good. Oh. We've inserted the pudding into the pie crust, and now we're going to take the Cool Whip and put it on top of the pie crust. It's so hard for me to film these things and show you everything step by step, but I think you get the basic idea, and I'll show you what it looks like after I've done this step. So, if only I could get a cameraman. When you're done, this is what your pie should look like. Um, just be careful when you're spreading the, the whipped topping onto the pie because you don't want the chocolate to mix um, from underneath. You kind of have to push it around very gently because you want the top to look white and snow-like. Um, otherwise, it looks kind of tacky. And then you also kind of want to take your spoon and flip the cream if you can just to give it a nice little pretty design. Flip it, boy, flip it. Now I'm going to add the sprinkles. And I'll show you the finished product. And your finished product should look a little something like this. Mmm, I can't wait to eat that later. Now, we're going to put the lid on here, secure it, and then we're going to put it in the freezer. But you should put it in the uh, fridge for at least an hour or two. I put mine in the freezer because I like it to be, it, it gets really messy when you cut into it, so the firmer that it is, actually I think it tastes better kind of half frozen, so don't leave it in there too long, you don't want it to be a brick, but um, you know, it's your choice. By the way, you can also change this up and um, you can use you know, fat-free pudding, fat-free whipped cream, so that it's more appropriate for somebody who's maybe on a diet or diabetic. You don't have to use the sprinkles on the top, but if you want to go and be really fatty, crush up Oreos, you know, put M&Ms, whatever you want. Um, it's really easy. The prep time is about 10 minutes, maybe, if that, um, when you're not recording things. Uh, and the cost was, I think, about $5.50 for all the ingredients. So it's cheap and it's easy. One other thing. Your empty Cool Whip tub, if somebody has never told you this before, save the lid and the thing, wash it out, they make great reusable like uh, Tupperware. Now I'm going to put the lid on, put it in my freezer, and then I'm good to go. So thank you for watching this episode of, of mm, I'm Lucky Cooking the Pan, what? And we will see you the next time. Happy New Year guys. Bye.
Hey, you were in that clone called Range Rover. So, um, I'm gonna plate this up and, you know, or, Okay, let's make some pie. Then, we will add the pudding mix. Shit. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our milk and we're gonna pour it... Uh, what we're going to do first is take our milk and we're going to pour in one and three-fourths cup of milk. What we're going to do first is take our milk and we're going to take one and three-fourths cup of milk. Oh, I can't get this right. <laughs> Save your butter and Cool Whip and whatever tubs because they'll come in handy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm really, really attractive. Uh -huh. <laughs>